Dangerously low temperatures did hit the Wabash Valley today. For some who have to brave the cold every morning, it can be difficult just keeping warm. It sure can. News 10's Gina Glaros visited with students waiting for their school bus this morning. She's in our studio tonight with more. Gina? Mark Patrice, Chief Photojournalist Mike Ladd and I braved the temperatures this morning outside at the bus stop. And I have to say, as prepared as we thought we were, we were still freezing. Temperatures dropping lower and lower. Six degrees, maybe? Monday, the National Weather Service issued a wind chill advisory for several Indiana counties. As a result, Wabash Valley School Districts issued a two hour delay Tuesday. News 10 caught up with students Tuesday morning at the bus stop. Put on a, a jacket and then a coat, wear gloves and wrap it all up in a scarf. Bundled up, Alexis Fitzik says regardless of the temperature, she arrives at the bus stop about 10 to 15 minutes early. To make sure I get here and stuff and, well, I'm excited for school. We brought our thermometer outside to find out just how cold it is. Right now it's 11 degrees with a 0.8 mile per hour wind speed. Experts say it's very important to limit your time in these freezing temperatures. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say when temperatures drop below normal, make trips outside as brief as possible. And if you can't avoid the weather, make sure to take breaks. Students doing what they can to stay comfortable. I am like so happy because bus is all nice and warm and full of kids and so just it's just nice. Until they can get out of frigid temperatures. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Gina Galeros, News 10. The National Weather Service recommends schools should close when the air temperatures reach 30 below or the wind chill reaches 30 below.